News, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. I think while it could be summed up as just a good, hard-working, blue-collar town, whether you were on the ice or off the ice, that's what we grew up with in our DNA. There's a guy like this from every small town across Canada. You probably know who he is, where you're from. This is Nick Fatusi. This is a hockey life well lived. This is the old homestead right here on the left, 85 McAlpine. That was our street hockey area. We would stay out here till the street lights come on and Saturday nights you'd jump into the house and uh, Hockey Night in Canada was at 8 o'clock at that time. And I would sit in front of that TV and my dad would throw a ball or a rolled up sock or something at me and I would play goaltending until the game came on TV. Once I started playing, uh, Mike Palmatier was the guy for me. I was a Leafs fan. As a young kid in, you know, in the 70s and how acrobatic he was, he was so different to any goaltender at the time and, and somebody who really caught my eye when I was young. His path starts like so many others. Enough love for the game to play through minor hockey and enough skill to play a bit of junior. As his career seemed to be winding down, a plucky upstart called the East Coast Hockey League was finding its stride, and Vitusi found a new opportunity. There were some nights where it was a scene out of slap shot. It really was. It was brawling and, and broken buses and, uh, you know, fights up in the stands and everything else. But the first year of the ECHL, the 88-89 season, that was my first ever championship in hockey. 13 seasons and 12 teams into his pro career, he was ready to hang up the mask for a final time. I had an opportunity to be a player assistant coach for a couple of years and then transition into coaching. Vitusi proved to be as fiery behind the bench as he was between the pipes. They had a player who hadn't played any shifts at all, and we put him on the ice late in the game, and he went out and challenged one of our defensemen. But when they went to the penalty box, I, it was five and five, and I, I called the ref over, and I said, Joe, like, what's going on? That's an instigator. And he, kind of in a snarky attitude, said, I didn't see it that way. So I come unraveled, and unfortunately, I can't hide it because of YouTube. What is Nick doing right now? He's flipping out. He's got an unsportsmanlike Here he goes. Up. Here he goes. Nick has lost it behind that bench. Hindsight, kind of embarrassing the way I handled myself for sure. And then when the walleye came out and, and made a bobblehead uh, of that, it was actually tied in with an anger management night. But my favorite part of coaching was telling a player that you're getting called up today. I know how special that was for me as a player when I was on the receiving end of that conversation. The five-time league champion was part of the inaugural class inducted into the ECHL Hall of Fame. Pat Kelly's from Welland was the commissioner. He went in. Henry Brabham, um, the Brabham Cup is named after him, which is the regular season championship. He was inducted into it. And to go in with those guys who are really the builders of, of the ECHL was very special. I always hoped that I would get to the NHL in some capacity. I was invited to the St. Louis Blues uh, training camp in 92-93. I played in an exhibition game with them and, and uh, I remember making a save and the faceoff was to my right and I'm reading nameplates on my teammates' jerseys for the faceoff. And it's Brett Hall and Brendan Shanahan and Craig Janney and Garth Butcher. I remember just looking at it thinking, what in the heck am I doing out here with these guys? And I think of that all the time when I sit down for a game in the NHL as a scout. It's like, wow. Look at this, I'm evaluating NHL players right now. Like, how did this happen? A lot of people have said my road to the NHL is uh, kind of a long and winding run, and, and I think it's more of like a, a mountain bike trail through the woods, but it was something that I thoroughly enjoyed doing and would do it all over again. Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store.